like right after our conversation about rage. Yeah, I like that. See, I, I I'm probably the the easiest. Would you say I'm one of the easiest goat yeah. guys in the world? Yeah. But yeah. then I have this Hulk. Like, I have Hulk like rage. Like I almost threw. Well, I almost threw this thing through the wall. But we'll let that let that go. You know what? You know, there's a that Robert De Niro has this facial expression no matter what movie he's in when he's mad, and yeah. it's like really scary. <laughs> That's sort of what you were, you were throwing down there. Yeah. <laughs> Fan, fans are going to see that and be afraid. Yeah. By the way, if you uh, don't know what they were laughing at, I made that face for the cameras, and you can watch this Oops. at today's website, That's or you right. can watch it later on on our Facebook page. But you got to be our friends on Facebook to do so. All right, because it's the Wizards of Weekend. It's probably one of my favorite. Six minute segments of the whole week. I love you this. Think? It's great because I don't really have to do anything. Yeah. You do. All this you, is where do you is, actually have to work. All you do is poo poo whatever that's I not suggest. True. That's not Isn't always that true, true, John. Uh, I'm not getting involved it's in that. Not, so I just saw true. the rage. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to incur this man's <laughs> wrath. No. So I'd have to go with him on this one. Oh, there it goes again. The face. You got <laughs> people have got to watch this face on TV. <laughs> I just wanted to say stuff that will make you continue to spin and twirl. And <laughs> hey, do you guys know today's my anniversary? Today's yeah, your anniversary. So I want to say happy <laughs> anniversary to my wife. Hey, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, this baby. This was the anniversary of our first marriage. We've been married three times. I know. Yeah, that I've heard that story, I but I don't know that John has. I've been married three You haven't heard that story? I have not. I, was, I married my uh, lovely bride uh, on a trip to Vegas. It wasn't... Pl- well, it kind of was planned from my end, but I wasn't going to get married in Vegas. I okay. was just going to pop the question, so to go. speak. And then we wound up, you know, You're doing what you do, yeah. strippers and all that other stuff. You get married. What? That's what happens. Well, you know, you run You were married the- by a stripper? <laughs> no, we married by... And the, you- the third time we were married was by Elvis, by, ah. by the way. But the, the, the first time was by that Siegfried and Roy guy whose uh, face was torn in half by a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the first time was by some lady uh, minister in uh, the uh, Vita Las Vegas wedding chapel. Okay. From what you can remember. No, the only reason, I'll tell you, the funniest part of that story is the only reason why we actually walked into that place that day was because it was 110 degrees out. <laughs> my, wa- my wife... We were at, we were down. This is going to take too long. We were on the lower end of the strip. We were on the uh, there's this, there's an upper part of the strip, and then there's downtown Vegas. Yeah. My right. wife thought we could. I, I've been to Vegas a million times. Yep. My wife said, "Let's walk from downtown to the strip." Oh, I'm like, "No, that's no, 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 yeah, we can make it. It's no problem." So I said, "Oh, I don't care. We'll start." Yeah. So we started walking. I knew it was gonna, we were never going to make it. Anyway, halfway through, she's dying. I'm dying. We walk <laughs> into this place. It's air conditioned. Yeah. They have an opening at four o'clock. We got married. See, it's exactly it's how it's it her right. She is serves her right. She ended up married to you because she didn't listen to you. See, that's why. Look, and She'd this be is pretty all clear right now. Do I die of dehydration or do I get married? <laughs> let me let me think about this for go. a minute. Okay. All right. So, uh, listen, people want to hear. They don't yeah. want to hear. Oh about no, this, this is a good you. story. But I like that story. Yeah. I do too. Okay. So quickly, first of all, live lunch break at noon streaming. The, the music in studio, the yep. day concert series. We've got Sidewalk Dave from uh, New Haven, really talented songwriter. Uh, pretty funny dude, too. I would say something like, oh, I don't know, Robert Pollard of Guided by Voices. What do you think of that? All right. I have no idea what he's talking about. That's okay. at noon. Tune in, streaming live, today.com, and you'll see what I'm talking right. about. Let's okay. Oscillate. My pick of the week All right. is the comedian Brian Regan. Oh, funny. He is so funny, and he is, uh, what night is he? He's Friday night at the MGM <sighs> Grand at Foxwoods, and I interviewed him, and that was fabulous, John. You would have you oh, really. He's so funny. Because he's a clean comic. Yes. And his routine on Cranberry Salesman or just something as mundane as airline passengers will have you ripping your own lungs out with glee. <laughs> That's funny. And so there's a, uh, there's a story uh, in the day's feature section, Daybreak Tomorrow, where I interviewed him. So you can look oh, for that, Oh, you guys got to read that. All That's right. going to be good. That's going to be good, yeah. Now, now, Tuesday at the Hygienic Art Park in New London, the Lee Ronaldo Band. Lee Ronaldo, if you you got to know, probably know this, he and Thurston Moore, uh, Sonic Youth, one of the most innovative and influential rock bands of all time, certainly in in terms of the guitar and what they did with guitar and noise. So Lee has uh, got his own band, new album out. It's very good, very catchy. So you got to see that show. That's a that's a that's a killer thing. Right. You, you know Lee Ronaldo? I don't. 
You know Lee Elsie? No, I do. I somewhat know him. I know the Ronaldo. The only Ronaldo I know is a soccer player. No. Oh. So is that who you're talking about? Is that no. the same person? I know Francesco Ronaldi. I know Didn't Thurston Howell the third. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Sonic Youth too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, lovey. Let's play. Right. He'll, um, start, he'll be okay. he'll be decaying tonight okay. at Foxwoods. But anyway, Friday and Friday Saturday, Saturday. Yep. the Old Lime Midsummer Festival uh-huh. goes on, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. It's a lot of fun. But I say this to you two dudes in particular because they have a dog parade oh. on Saturday, and it's the Parading Paws Dog Show. Your canine can be judged in contests for best smile, longest tail, and biggest paws. I like that. So that's Saturday. Uh, can't go wrong with any. Where's that? That's in Old Lime. It's up and down Old Lime. It's right. just you go to Old Lime and you'll find a festival. I like it. So <laughs> just hit Old Lime. And yeah. Gonna well, there are going to be dogs walking all over the place. Dogs and smiles, right? Exactly. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you guys very much. Great job this week. Check it out online, of course, today.com. Or like us on Facebook. You get a chance to watch this video right around the corner.